Tell me invest in myself and I already did so I'm finna invest in this Glock My little butt band with the ammunition cause I'm going to war I don't care who gets shot How you calling me with but you dated the whole underground Man I shoulda knew you was a thot <laughs> Man you got me laughing and smiling this whole situation Should not be the reason we flop To be honest if that's how you want it then it could be that on my mama I'm all on your top I know that you mad after hearing this song but I know you won't touch me so you better stop I'ma keep it a band to be honest you look like you twist so I know that your daddy a cop Alright what's going on y'all it is your boy Felly Two wires back with another video, and today we have our Suicide Boys Young Death Lil Life uh, reaction. Uh, I love this album cover. We talked about it on our past stream last month, which was our Suicide Boys album tier list. So go check that out if you haven't. It was pretty lit. We was in the stream for almost two hours looking at every single suicide boys cover art and ranking them in the tier list so if you guys haven't seen that go watch that but yeah your boy i think i had got covid after the show because ever since not ever since but maybe like three days four days after around the time i gave you guys my video right before that i started having symptoms and stuff and my taste buds were weird and my mental health was off and I don't know, I heard it affects people differently, but that's how it affected me, god damn it, since that show, and I don't know if it's COVID or not, but I will probably be, end up getting vaccinated or whatever the fuck, dude, but I don't think I got it, but I'm back now, I'm sorry for the delay, and I also kind of shaved my goatee on accident, so I had to kind of fucking chop it off, god damn it, bro, it was so... It was so sad, dude. Like, half of the goatee. I think in the video you can kind of see it in the other one, but the shadowing was good, so it didn't look bad. But I noticed it when watching that half of my shit was just cut off. I'm sorry if this is a late upload or if it's, like, two days after I said I would upload, but I'm back now. I'm sorry, guys. God damn it. Fuck! And also, the, if you guys didn't know, the fucking boys and the whole crew, the whole tour crew, not the whole tour crew, but... The boys section of the fucking tour crew got COVID after Lala, so whatever that should say, you know, I, I okay. Our first song is uh, I Miss My Dead Friends, uh, it's a minute and 46. A lot of the songs on this project are very short. Our longest song is Cerberus. We're here because of LTE, bruh, and the live shows and shit, bruh. Oh my god, hearing that song, I'm like, dude, what song is this? Why haven't you guys been requesting this? And you guys probably have, but yeah, we're here, bro. We're fucking here, bro. Let's dive into it. Oh my god, I'm loving this fucking smooth, jazzy, lo-fi sounding beat. Oh my goodness, and Ruby is complimenting it so well with this fucking deeper voiced flow that I love that I love it but he's at the same time while it's 
it's a lower voiced flow. It, it, it's a persistent flow and it keeps going up as he's um, going on with his verse. I'm super excited to hear how Scrim sounds on this. If he's going low, what if Scrim decides to go high? That'd be interesting. Let's go. That's a fucker that your mama said oh. don't hang with me. Me in the gallows, bitch. I promise that it's painless. Well, that answers our question. Thinking that we on the same shit. Cock it back and then I yell, okay, here comes the pain, bitch. Up the gates of paradise. Can give a fuck about your life. Every time I roll the dice, six is popping up twice. Bitches trying to sacrifice. They pussy, but I am not enticed. Good try, ho. I do this shit for dirt, so I ain't got the time, ho. Don't like nobody, and I think that's all you need to know. Walk in the water, pop. I'm Good try, ho. So when I hit the other side, I'm blowing up some dope. Blowing up some dope, yeah. Belly on here, yeah. He got a smoke. Shit, shit, shit. I ain't freestyling in a minute. Bit, bit, bit. I come in and bit blicking. Next song. That time we went to the, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, you guys know I'm, you guys know I'm a little slow. That time we went to Walmart in Memphis to steal some. B Who fucking knows, man? Let's just hear the fucking song. I like this. I'm predicting a drop. Like, doom. And then there's nobody's gonna rap yet. Damn it, never mind. I don't think it's coming. Never mind. Catch me right aside. Man, they're going back and forth. Well, y'all know I gotta get the fuck up out of here, bro. Cause I'm about to lose my fucking mind, bro. I'm about to, I'm about to lose my mind. Cause I just realized LTEs after this, Ugh. dude. I'm loving Ruby's fucking deeper flow. This is like how he likes to fucking rap sometimes on the live shows. I noticed, and when he likes to go high, he likes to scream and fucking sing on the mic. Um. This is code. This is fucking code. Okay, we're going back and forth. Okay. Okay. Lady pig, only smoking no J. I be that junkie motherfucker with that dope up on me. The almighty five nine. L's above up my time. Cabin fever running high from snorting back to back lines. Sun shining brightly. Wait, that's just the way I'm lighting. T.A. asking him. Oh my god, dude, how they're just fucking... Ah! You can't even tell when they're gonna switch. You don't know if it's gonna be every fourth bar, every eighth bar, every sixth bar. These dudes just fucking... They play with the... They play with our minds. They're like, yeah. <laughs> They'll fucking tickle our fucking brains or something. No sus. No sus. Belly in this bitch and he be going harder than a bitch. He going hard. He taking bitches to the crib. We going harder than a bitch. Oh shit, motherfuckers finna get they ass. Ah! I be that skinny 
you get to PCP, pills in my cuisine I'm fucking drag to sway Wrist dismay, suicide Renegade, pop a couple Waves up in my grave Coughing my skin with a blade I, I don't fuck with squares uh. There's no drug dealer, steal a whip to seal a sick of Oh, no, 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 I gotta appreciate this I'm sorry, guys Dude, for a second there, I'm just back at the show experiencing this song for the first time. I wish I could have turned around the camera and showed you guys my fucking... Dude, when I saw fucking Scrim walk up and he just got his shirt off and I didn't even notice he was taking... Bro, and this song started playing, I didn't know what the fuck was going on. I think I've seen it on other live shows, like the one when I uh was with uh, Justine on, but... I didn't notice it because I'm not paying attention to new songs during live shows unless I'm there. God damn it. And Jesus Christ, bruh. This song is different. And Scrim, how he performs this song is godlike. You like you it's like you're watching Je you're like, God damn, why are they doing Jesus like that? That's not Jesus. Who is that? Oh. deep flow i really hope he stays persistent with it oh my god i love deep voice ruby this shit is fire it's like somebody slow and reverbed his verse i'm losing my breath and shit holy shit holy fucking smokes like i'm my man For gloss of blood. Gloss of blood, nigga? You're glossing the blood? What the fuck? That motherfucker said that, that nigga said Scrim would rather he basically said he'd rather kill himself before he gets locked up. Nigga, me too, my nigga. Me too, my nigga. I'm not getting locked up. Niggas gonna find me in a fucking that I don't know. Niggas I'm not getting locked up. Fuck you talking about. Okay, I they played this shit, bro. That part right there, I remember specifically hearing so many fucking times. Like, cause I had to edit it, I had to live it. I did the shit with Justine, so they performed live and probably did it there too, on the Rolling Loud shit, dude. That that. And then right after that, they go. Champions are death in this bitch. Oh, 
one of her majesty, I need the whole lip and stay so low. That violin or whatever the fuck that is is fucking beautiful. Oh my god. Oh. Uh -huh. They done through. I'm about to get them. They done through auto tune on Ruby, bro. This nigga is snapping. What the fuck, bro? What, the <laughs> bro? That bass drop punched me on the top of my head like bitch. Okay, I don't think I've ever heard any type of auto tune on Ruby's voice. I mean, at least not to, uh, to this extent. He doesn't need it, obviously. But goddamn, this is fun to hear. Holy shit. Oh my god. This is definitely a 2016s sounding song. Scrim definitely persuaded Ruby to put on the auto tone. He's like, dude, listen to how I sound with this shit, bro. Ruby's like, okay. <laughs> Ruby don't like that shit. You could tell, bro. After this, I, I mean, I have not heard not one fucking song where he has as much as auto tune as he had there. Scrim, for some reason, that shit fits him very much better. Uh, much better, I should say. Not very much better. Doesn't make sense. Much better <coughs> because he has a deeper voice and he's off key a lot of the time because of his deeper voice. I feel like Ruby hits his notes most of the time because his voice is higher, a lot like mine. So I feel like the uh, auto tune is a lot. Uh, I mean, I feel like the auto tune is uh, unnecessary. So, yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, I like how it's higher now. Mm. Kinda sounds like a female singing it now. Now that Scrim's a master of editing, dude. That's crazy. How he made it higher, so now it sounds like a female doing it. That's fire. Um This was a more of an experimental song for sure. For a hundred percent. This is probably the most experimental Suicide Boy song I've heard. I don't know what the fuck y'all niggas be talking about all the new shit. The new shit kinda fits, in my opinion. This shit, though, this song was very experimental. And if you played this to me, I'd be like, yo, like, if I didn't, like, know, like, and I'm just off camera and I'm, like, listening to regular songs that I literally have in a fucking playlist so I don't get it mixed up and end up in a situation like this. But if I were to randomly hear this song, I'd be like, yo, I know that ain't Ruby. Fucking snapping on the fucking auto tune. I mean, it, it's not uh their best sounding shit, but it was pretty fun to listen to in my opinion. That shit's wild. We're on track number six now. Let's get it. Lips, you with the fucking 
Oh, hell no. They... Bro. Why does this only have 7 fucking million? I'm trying to translate and say, like, okay, maybe these are the more... Dude, this is fucking... Woo! This is more of my lane, dude, right here. Oh, my God, dude. This sounds so fucking fire, bro. Did you hear how that shit stopped and then Ruby come back in? Bro, that shit is so fucking fire. <laughs> Fuck you talking about? Holy shit. Slip side, boy, bitch, slip the one who the brain. Bro, oh no, hell the fuck no, dude. This shit, this my shit, bro. Already, bro. This one is my, like, this is my personal one already. I can, bro, how that shit stops, like, suicide, uh, the, the, boom. Da, 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 da. Bro, that shit is fine, bro. That shit is, oh my god, I gotta hear that again. Suicide, boy, bitch, slip the one with the break. Oh yeah, I got I'm sorry guys. I'm gonna pass out, bro. I'm about to pass out, bro. I'm literally about to pass out. I'm exhausted. It's hot. No fan on. I don't wanna turn it on, bro. Should be sounding like a fucking Factory in this bitch, bro. When I be editing, I'm like, yo, but this shit is oh my god, bro. That hook was just so fire, bro. I can't, bro. This song, bro. Oh my god. Give a fuck, I'm in the seventh, bro. Go, might be stolen, bitch. But carries open, Logan Joseph. My blood be swollen, always smoking. I be that slave with the bro chain. Riding to get away. Throw another bitch away. This shit is so fun, bro. That, bro, the, the bass. All right, look here. What I am getting from this project so far is like this is one of the most bass heavy Suicide Boys projects to date that I've heard, whatever the fuck, because I haven't heard everything in their discography. But, dude. This is hands down the most bass heavy Suicide Boys project I've heard so far. Besides Eternal Grape, maybe I gotta go re-listen to it. But dude, every single fucking song has this fucking consistent bass line in the 808 that sounds so fucking good with a fucking clean sample that fucking loops over and over. And it's just like, it's like so fucking good. I don't understand how that song has 7 mil. <laughs> Bro, give me the fuck out. Dude, ha this style of them that just fucking came out of nowhere in this fucking project, like this, this I don't know, bro. I don't get, oh my God, bro. Okay, so they, they started just doing this fucking disordered and slow 808 style just suddenly in this tape. Oh my god, it sounds so fucking good. That is my favorite style of them. If you, if when I make a top five, like most of the songs that I pick will be these dark songs. God, bro, this shit is so fucking good, bro. I don't understand how this only has three mil. I'm about to literally fucking flame y'all last, bro. Because you guys are the ones that listen to this shit before I have. So, niggas, I'm directly talking to y'all, niggas. That, that baseline that comes in. Here come, wait. Give me the 
fuck out. I'm about to go. Double vocals on scrims. Bro, when this shit drop on his shit. <laughs> bro, these songs, bro, these two back to back, I can't. Bro, y'all niggas have just put me on to. Bro, this nigga scrim, let the shit drop, boom, he, bro, <laughs> it was so fucking fire. It's the great Lord's team, go team, never breathe the cycle demon, looking for a way to scheme it. Stick on, Robin is my mission and murder is in my vision, ho. Oh my God, that nigga said, Oh my god, dude, that was just so fun. Holy shit. April morning. Blood, blood dripping off my braids. Persuading with the blade. Bitch, I call a spade a spade. I ain't no need for throwing shade. You know I keep that contraband. Suicide and high demand. Keep a handful of them sands and a fully loaded. The light and got the they on they kill shit, boy. Bitches on my mattress. Fuck them all. Backwards walking corpse. Stalking corpse. Show them no remorse. Corner store. Sipping force. Pressure off the tour. Bitch, to the cloud with pedals. Shower with me in slow motion while I'm blowing on some sour D. Fucking I don't know when towers over me. Hopefully, openly talking about all of my emotions. Ocean D. Sinking to the bottom. Opening the bone. Fucking problem, bitch. I promise I'll become for God. Rotten fucking spotted on the concrete. Six times three. If I was a key on the boat, I'd probably be the leak. Or escape either way you pressing me. This, that shit, Jesus fucking parents was playing back in the day, bro. Holy fuck. This what this sound like. This, that shit, fucking, um, Mary and them was playing back in the day, boy. On God. What's up, guys? Um, around this time, I decided to eat and go live on Instagram. And next thing you know, I'm live with Justine for three hours. It was a crazy three-hour ride. So if you've made it this long in the video, go check that out on my Instagram. Knight Lavelle pulled up in the live. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. It was interesting. It was very interesting. <laughs> no, for real though. I'm just playing with the trolls that were in the chat. Um, shout out to Justine for always being a good collaborative uh, partner. I don't know what the fuck. I don't know how to say that. I'm sleepy and it's fucking 2 a.m. in the morning. So I'm just going to enjoy this blunt and the rest of this album and... Hopefully it wakes me the fuck up. Reminds me a lot of a beat that like, you would hear on Hellboy. On uh, this is, a, I feel like this would be something that people would be on. But
But um, this is the longest song on the project. Uh, I see a feature, Master Drag. Now, you know with the Suicide Boys, this could either be a producer or it can be a, a voice. So let's let's see a voice. <laughs> Say it is me first. Yes, I become his first. simple verses from all of them even though this is a long track uh i feel like the short and simple verses make up for that and even though it's the longest track ironically it feels like one of the shortest throughout this entire project really takes me back to 2015 on the eight on the later end of this project wise i feel like yeah this is definitely screaming like 2015 2014 trap you feel me i fucks with this i'm in the basement man i'm chopping up a fuck boy soldier bag wearing i don't give a fuck boy need a share of my Everywhere I go, the bitch is trying to have my baby. Everywhere I go, the models always fuck you, baby. <laughs> Let me give you a little insight into me. Come on, God. Those lines by Scream are crazy. He's an absentee landlord. Worship that never. Yeah, but friend, I love my body looking like a fucking fuck between the middle and my trigger fingers. Dude, the songs where the Suicide Boys literally take you back in time really does something to me. Because around that time, I was literally in high school. Like, Jesus Christ, man. I wish I knew about these guys back then, but at the same time, if I if I didn't, if or if I did, I wouldn't be here with you guys right now. So this is this is crazy right now, especially considering how tired I am. <laughs> I'm sorry if it's a switch of pace and energy, but god damn it, guys, you need to understand. I'm only fucking human. Shit. Some suicide. The rage from the blood stains all over my brain. Just another day, this killer train is riding down your way. I'm fucking starting to threaten these voices that's in my head. I got moments with the dead, sleeping in riverbeds. Damage in my organs to me, they just ain't important. 
and I'm a different kind of breed. The one that don't even breathe, the one you ain't gotta feed. Just probably take what I need. Fuck a product of the suicide, fuck a sport of sake. Cutting on my wrist while he put me for the gate. And I'm debating to take my life. Forsaking my sacrifice. Mistaken for something nice. That verse, Jesus Christ, bruh. Should I say young Christ? said this on my first time ever hearing them that I could hear Earl Sweatshirt my favorite rapper on a song with them I can definitely hear him on this song what a simple but soothing 808 then the drums well not the drums uh the fucking bass kicks in first and then you hear a little drum Jesus Christ man that sounded so fucking good bro <laughs> holy Shit like that is timeless. That doesn't sound like something in 2014, bruh. Pressure, pressure, how do I do deal with all this pressure in my way? It's in my lungs, it's in my thoughts, it's in my brain. A guilty conscience, some might say, a paranoid and locked away. A withering weight in the garden, the God wasn't supposed to say. Locked up on an open grave. With a King James Bible, put a couple quotes erased, but kept the ones that made me smile. Do I really see everything for what it is, or is it that I can't see anything with such a bad case of denial? When I died and put my body in a boat and light it on fire, push me out to sea and let the wind do what I might have. No matter whatever I feel about anything, it wasn't until I burned all my bridges and made my future brighter. See, like that was, this is like poetic as fuck, bro. This is so fucking good, man. <coughs> <coughs> They're just spilling the beans on a lot of things. I see a fucking spider. What the fuck, bro? Yeah. Fucking spider's dead. Spider-Man's dead, guys. But, uh... What a fucking poetic, simple, but fucking very satisfying song, dude. I really like this, man. And this is exactly what I... Ironically, this is what I was... The type of music I was listening to back in 2015 and below... Uh, I really liked music like this, so it's funny that I say that it's timeless and it doesn't sound like something I'd hear when it was literally what I was listening to. <laughs> Sold my soul to Satan, waiting in line at the mail? At the mall? He's coming with some dark lyrics on God. I mean, it's a dark ass title. I mean, Christians stay away from this one, I guess. But, um,. Wow, uh, I'm loving the double vocals on his auto tune. This shit sounds fucking phenomenal. God damn it, my OBS crashed. I don't know what the fuck happened. Let's just finish this goddamn project. What a ride. This is so I split, driven apathy, actually traffic, no tragic car accidents happen. You're just a fucking blip. It only matters cause we're mad at scattering around. How 
could you say new? I don't like this new Suicide Boys with the auto tune when they've been doing it since 2015. I don't understand you niggas sometimes. They've been doing this shit since I literally was in high school. Honey. Holy shit. I'm so in love with this shit, I can't think. My go blank. I just keep sinking, duck down sleeping. These drugs, my weakness. Seek this run if risk keep flaming. Scream talking about the Oh my god, please, please, please stop, Ruby. No. Scream talking about the death of him is going to be the demons in him or something like that. And then Ruby just comes in out of nowhere. I think that was Ruby. And then the feature is just snapping in the background, bruh. With these beautiful background vocals with the auto tone. Oh my god, dude. This is... Wow. This is fucking amazing. Holy shit. That's exactly how I feel right now, Ruby. I will sleep when I'm dead. After this, I'm going to probably spend up to two hours editing the whole thing for y'all. And it's only my fault. Oh, well, I guess it's not my fault. I guess it's kind of COVID's fault, but... Fuck it. <laughs> I'll fucking sleep when I'm dead. Oh my god. Those double vocals, though, or Ruby's voice come the fuck on throughout this project are fucking harmonic. Fuck you, you talking about heavenly. Fuck you. And then they just gonna throw Paris in your face like, okay, here. Like, what the fuck? Y'all trying to have me fucking lose my mind. Like, what a way to end the project. I really wish I finished this earlier before I went live with Justine. I, that's my fault. She was like, apologizing and stuff. Justine, it's not your fault. It's my fault. But, um, dude, holy shit. Those last five songs were pretty good. But you guys already know what I'm about to say. My favorite two back to back were All My Life I Wanted a Chevy 
and I ended up driving a Camaro off the causeway bridge. Holy fucking shit. I, I, oh, that is such my lane. Like, those are literally my, like, favorite type of songs from the boys. And goddamn, did they deliver. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Helps to get out to more Suicide Boys fans. And yeah, this project was. Wow, it was a hell of a ride. I love how experimental it got throughout some songs. I felt uh, the auto-tune was super heavy on Ruby's voice when they decided to put it on his voice. Uh, I felt like the features really held up. The first feature, it sounded kind of like he didn't record in the same room as them, but that's cool. That's typical. A lot of hits sound like uh, people don't record in the same room. So... That was fucking really fun to listen to, man. And I have lost my mind, officially. <laughs> after this fucking tape, this was crazy. But you guys already know what's next after this. Come over when you're sober. Part one. Lil Peep. Uh, yeah. And yeah. And it's been your boy, Veli. Too wide. See you guys in the next one. Holy shit. Let's edit. Yay.